Hi and welcome to another tutorial by me, Hamster Hill. This one is on how to put sort of dirt roads and and that kind of thing onto a landscape. So um, to start off, we're going to have our landscape by deleting the cube and space add mesh plane. Then just hit fracture down here in the mesh tools under editing buttons panel. Um, so that a couple times and then um, if you want to make it more rough you press SZ scale across the Z axis and that sort of exaggerates all its different bumps and curves and stuff so if that looks pretty good then what we need to do is we need to right click in the middle here split area and split it down the center then you need to change this one here to a UV slash image editor then what you need to do is you go image new and don't just accept the defaults because we need to change things here we need to make it so that the alpha is zero right that's what gives it the effect that we're looking for so make sure the alpha is zero and then you can change the height and width if you want and the color doesn't really matter but the alpha is what's important um, then press ok then what you need to do is scroll out um, then go to front view and press e, uh, top view, sorry, and press U, and then click unwrap. And that should just unwrap your plane as it is onto this. So now we can go to texture paint mode, and you can see it's black because it's taking its coordinates and stuff from there. And we go down here and set our opacity up, and um then just basically draw on our road um, I'm gonna set my size up and set my fall off down because that looks quite nice you get a sort of blurred edge on the side um, and just sort of draw your path or whatever your mask on there Good like that. and as you can see it drew it on here as well um, so now what we need to do is go to our materials and need to set up our material that we're going to be using. So first you go up, add new because you want a new material, then go to textures, which is this button here, then you need to add new and then um, change the name of this one to grass and you want to click the type and change it to clouds and then change the colors and click color band set the alpha up um, and we're gonna make it look like grass so put a green on that side and a dark green on this side like that that's pretty good then what you need to do is um, go back to this texture thing click on the next slot click add new you want to name this one alpha uh, then texture type we want image and instead of clicking load like you normally would to load an image you click here and click untitled because that will select this image instead of you saving it out and then loading it back in or something stupid like that you just click the two double arrow thing and click untitled because that's what it's called um, then select the third slot over here then click add new and we're going to change that one to clouds as well and go to colors and click color band set the alpha up on that one again and we're going to make this look like dirt so it's sort of like and one of them is kind of like a dark orangey brown and the other one's like a really dark brown like to about there you can mess around with it as much or as little as you want um, so we got our three textures all set up here then what you want to do is you want to go to here our materials again and you want to go all the way down to this side and select make sure the alpha is selected and then click map input and you want to click UV and then you want to click map 2 and you want to turn off color and then select stencil and it should, on this view here, show you a preview of the dirt sticking through the grass. 
that if we press F12 to render, we should get a plane with the grass with the path going through it. So if I just give us a better view here, just scale it up a bit, and press F12 again. And there we have it. Um, cool. Well, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it was uh, helpful. And before I uh, was asked to make this tutorial, I had no idea how to do this, but uh, now it's a pretty cool thing. I might use it more often. Feel free to comment and rate and subscribe and all that kind of stuff if you're watching this on YouTube.